Okay, this is the next fidget spinner I'm going to test. This is uh, from GLM Tech. It's the Trimetrics. I just looked on their website and they still have some of these available. I think it was limited to 40 pieces. So that's what it, that's what it says on the website anyway. So this is a stainless steel tri spinner with a very interesting machining pattern in it. It's kind of wavy and looks pretty cool. Very interesting little piece. So I'm going to test this one next and see how it goes and hopefully by the time I get done you'll still be able to get one of these. I had got done testing the GLM Trimetric Spinner. It's a very nice spinner and it's uh, very tr attractively machined. Um, it's got these nice patterns on it, wavy patterns. Um, the feel of it is kind of, uh, it's pretty much feels like any other tri spinner. It doesn't feel really, there's nothing really unique about the feel of it. And I would say a little bit on the negative side, it does have kind of sharp edges. I see a piece of fingernail flying every now and then when I play with it. There goes one right there. A um, little on the heavy side. It's uh, 99 grams, um, which in my book is good. I'm not sure. Some people like them a little bit lighter. But it, uh, the feel is pretty much like any other tri-spinner. You know, it feels, it feels nice. In terms of the spin time, it got an average spin duration of 9 minutes and 51 seconds with the bearing that's in it. Uh, very long spin time. So it's, it is definitely a long spinner. The spin time seemed to actually increase as I tested it more and more, so it might have been a break-in period on the bearing, but it did vary quite a bit. Um, it got, uh, holding it one way, it got uh, around eight minutes, the other way around nine minutes, and then, then vertically it got uh, around 12 minutes. So it got penalized for that a little bit, so I, I don't know if you would take that terribly seriously but it got an overall score of 7.8, which qualifies it as a very good spinner. Um, I think it probably really deserves a higher score than that because it only got the score that low because of the variation in the uh, spin times. But this one sells for $160 on GLM Tech's website. And uh, in my book, a little bit on the pricey side. I don't know if I'd want to pay quite that much if you're a real big spinner fan or you really <clears throat> if you really appreciate the the uh, <clears throat> nice machining job they did on it, then it's, it's probably worth it. But in terms of playability, there's nothing terribly special about it. The bu buttons are very nice. They got these little, almost little, little uh, spiky things in them that hold your fingers really well. So there's another look at the GLM Trimetrics.